Hey, thanks for stopping by to check out our channel. Uh, today we wanted to talk to you about how to find arrowheads. Again, one of the best ways we found is uh, you can find a place that's been tilled up. Uh, you can till up your own place. <laughs> you can actually wait till after the rain. That's one of the best ways. And it could be in an area that's not even tilled. It could be a, a wash area, maybe where the, uh, the water came flowing through, washed the soil away, and the arrowheads are going to be exposed. I wanted to show you this one that we found this week. We've had a lot of rain. And uh, in this field, while walking along, I ended up coming across this one. Now, they call this a drill point, or uh, some people call the point drill bits. I don't know. There's probably a bunch of different names, but drill points is probably one of the more common ones. And this is the first one we've been able to find. It looks like it's made out of obsidian. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up here so you can see it a little bit closer and see if we can kind of show you there. There's a lot of uh, detail and expertise put into making these kind of things because, you know, the stone is, uh, is somewhat uh, fragile and when you start getting them this thin, like this, you know, they can break. And so whoever the craftsman was on this, you know, they probably had years of experience. They went in here and they flaked these little uh, chips in here just to make that Hold into a point. And uh, we've kind of covered in another video, drill points were uh, made for maybe, uh, they could have been using it for poking holes into hides, maybe for uh, articles of clothing. Uh, I've heard it also being used for just, you know, drilling things. Uh, I don't know if they used it manually or, you know, there's some discussion. You can go on to uh, Wikipedia and I'm sure on the internet and find a lot more information on it. But they had uh, some sort of a me mechanism that would attach to it and make it drill. So anyhow, I've seen them longer, but this is the first one I found. So it's kind of a cool one. I'm going to show you another one also that uh, we came across. And this one's kind of cool. Not so much for the detail of it, but uh, let me back up here a little bit. One of the things that we thought was kind of cool about this is I've never found one that you could actually see where in fact they've lashed it onto the spearhead or an arrow whichever one it was okay if this, you hold it right there one second let me get in I'll see if I can get those lines all right and okay now oh that's perfect right you can there see that you can see the marks yep yeah so you can see these the details in this and you can see there's a little notching there and of course on the other side doesn't look like much you can still see a little bit of actually here where you see that little line there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did that come out clear? Yeah, yeah you can see it. Right. Yep. Hey y'all, sometimes you know you film these things and you don't know what it's gonna look like until you actually get it uh, get it up onto the screen, uh, back when you get back up to the house. So anyhow, That's beautiful. It's kind of a cool one, but uh, we're looking for the big one, the rest of it. So uh, anyway, hey, I hope this helps you out. Go out into the field after the rain. You never know because, you know, one day we'll walk out. We won't find anything. Next day in the exact same places that we've walked, all of a sudden something's fully exposed. Sometimes you find one. You might find a half a dozen. But go out after the rain. You never know what you might find. Uh, hope this helps you in uh, your hunt for arrowheads. God bless you, and we'll see you soon.